can they screw up Scar King like this? SH Monster Arts Godzilla Kong, the new Empire Scar King, has been officially announced. I'll be the first to admit that Scar King looks pretty badass in some of these images, but why on earth does his roaring face look so off-putting? I actually liked him better in the dark. It's no wonder they had him lurking and hiding in the shadows with a face like that. Is this some Walmart-exclusive knockoff? Looks like Kong punched him in the face too much. This doesn't match his jaw from the movie. It needs to be whiter, take up more area on his face. It looks like he's the predator. In all seriousness, his closed mouth facial sculpt looks cooked. I will say his closed mouth sculpt looks a bit too friendly. Wish he had a snarl or an evil smiling face. Too bad they couldn't include a smirking face with those bottom canines sticking out. That would have been funny. That said, accessories galore, which is amazing. Scar King comes with three replacement hands, a closed mouth, an alternate roaring head, and the whip slash, which appears to be articulated. You can see each vertebra on the spinal column. The whip slash has a bendy wire inside so it can be posed freely. That's epic. He can actually hold the whip slash in his hand. Hopefully we can pose it like the pictures without any issues. Love that it's got the crystal on the tip for controlling Shimo. Hopefully the crystal's detachable so we can break the spell on Shimo. Wish it was a bit more weathered. Shockingly, Scar King includes a bonus beast glove accessory for Kong. It's designed to work with the new GXK Kong figure. It looks like it's an entire arm that goes onto the figure. It comes with two types of replacement right arms to recreate various scenes. The Beast Glove looks great, love the bright yellow paint, but if I'm being totally honest, it's not entirely movie accurate. Hopefully this will also be sold separately. When are we getting an accurate Kong? I want to see an updated Beast Glove Kong with a metal tooth and a more accurate face sculpt. Scar King measures 5.9 inches. He looks like a darker color than the film. His bluish eyes almost appear to glow. The fur details look pretty awesome. Overall, his paint and sculpt look pretty good. I didn't realize Scar King was so thin. He completely contrasts with Kong's build. He's got a lanky design, and his bright orange fur is well sculpted here. He's even got his mutton chops. You can see his one tilted forward tooth. Based on the published images, he seems to have pretty decent articulation. The biggest surprise, Monster Arch teased us with Shimo. Remember this scene where Shimo first meets Kong? Holy moly, Shimo looks huge, and it looks to be size accurate. Those translucent crystals look ace. That's what the Haya version was lacking. It even looks like Shimo has more articulation in the body, arms, and head, but I would have loved thicker arms. How much is this girl gonna cost? I want to see Monster Art Suko next. Aside from the roaring head, Scar King's a great figure, but I want to see what Haya Toys does with Scar King. Monster Art Scar King releases in Japan in December 2024. Pre orders start on May 17th, 2024. It's 12,100 yen, which is about $78, but the US retail price will be around $120. Let me know your thoughts. Will you be picking this up? Oh my Godzilla! Tamashi Nations has remained tight-lipped, and it's official. SH Monster Arts Godzilla Evolved from Godzilla Kong, the new empire has finally been revealed. Oh yeah, look at that. They even got him posed epically busting out of the ice just as in the trailer. There he is, a completely new sculpt. Goodness gracious. Wow, this thing looks incredible. Take a look at this magnificent beast. They cooked absolutely looks glorious. We needed SH Monster Arts Godzilla Evolve 2024. The world needed him. Shut up and take my money already. Clearly, the 2024 lineup had a monster-sized gaping hole in it, and now it's been filled. While the Playmates toys were great for what they were, this figure finally does the new modern design justice. I was sold on the Haya version, but Monster Arts is taking the belt. If this were a fight right now, round one goes to Monster Arts. Haya looks good, but this looks great. In terms of proportions, Monster Arts has a more accurate sculpt. The Haya one looks off, especially in the chest area. The sculpt is much crisper, the paint's better, and you get accessories where Haya comes with nothing. Not only does it look better, but it has more articulation. Haya only wins on price point. Since it was revealed, Godzilla's new design has really grown on me. Under the supervision of Yuji Sakai, SH Monster Arts meticulously recreated Godzilla using 3D data from the movie. It's not 100% accurate since it's stylized, but who cares when it looks this fantastic? A lot of detail went into this beauty. In his evolved form, you can see Godzilla gains additional muscle in his upper torso and back. 
but his abdomen is thinner. You can see his skin is spikier. You can even see the tiny protrusions on his chin and jawline. His head and arms are much larger than before. He's even got his elbow spikes. Now Godzilla's dorsal plates curve backwards. The luminescence of the dorsal fins in the movie is reproduced in metallic coloring as well as the distinctive vein pattern on the dorsal fins. They appear to be almost translucent and glow. Unlike the Playmates toy, she can even see the two rows of pointed protrusions running down his neck and face. His tail appears to be articulated, and it's extremely detailed right down to the thagomizer at the end. Certainly we would have liked to see more accessories. It does appear that he comes with an alternate pair of claws. Unfortunately, he doesn't appear to come bundled with his atomic breath, so I won't be able to obliterate the head off Scar King. Darn it. These screenshots reveal that we're getting completely new articulation. It's about time they fix the head. We're getting a completely new head sculpt, which is a billion times better. The neck articulation now looks similar to the Haya figures. I just hope that he can look straight up with those neck joints. You can see his mouth even opens and closes. But can he sleep? <laughs> and the uh, biggest surprise, we're getting Scar King. Hell yeah. From the promo shot, it looks like we can even pose him on a throne, just like the movie. Now I want to see Kong with Beast Glove, Shimo, and Suko. We've all been burned before by monster arts. Keep in mind that promotional images often differ from the final product. Hopefully this is the start of a redemption arc. Crossing my fingers. Pre-orders open on April 26th, 2024. In Japan, it'll be available in October 2024. I can't wait that long. Looks like the MSRP is 13,000 yen, or roughly $92 with tax. What are your thoughts on SH Monster Arts Godzilla? It's heat against ice. Let the battle begin. Finish him. Here's the four-piece diorama set of Godzilla vs. Shimo featuring two exclusive figures. Love the see-through packaging. Let's get them unboxed. The Godzilla Kong vs. Tupac brings an epic battle to your collection. Set includes exclusively detailed 6-inch Godzilla and Shimo figures. Let's attach his tail. Standing 6 inches tall, exclusive Godzilla Evolved with Heat Ray looks amazing. While the figure itself is identical to the individually sold 6-inch Godzilla Evolved figure, it has a fresh new paint scheme that makes it an exclusive figure. He has pink eyes and a jaw full of teeth, which are not the greatest. He features beautiful texturized details throughout his body. The spikes on his head are painted well, but I wish there was better consistency with his dorsal plates. I love his translucent pinkish colored dorsal plates that contrast well with this paint scheme. Godzilla Evolved has leaner arms with spikes, however they failed to accurately paint his forearm spikes. Godzilla's got some razor sharp nails to claw out Shimo's eyes. 